Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve absolute value inequalities with greater than. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. If you recall from our other videos, we talked about how to solve absolute value inequalities with less than. Greater than is a little different. We need to follow these rules. If the absolute value of u is greater than a, then u is less than negative a, or u is greater than a. Same thing, or similarly, if absolute value of u is greater than or equal to a, then u is less than or equal to negative a, or u is greater than or equal to a positive a. So let's go see our first example here. We have absolute value of x is greater than 4. Let's go apply our rule here. If the absolute value of x is greater than 4, then our u value, which is x here, is less than a negative 4, a value being 4, or x value being u, x is greater than a positive 4. All right, not too bad. Let's go graph it out. Put a little graph here. We have 0 in the middle, and then we have, let's go 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, and negative well, let's look at the first one here. X is less than a negative 4. It cannot equal negative 4, it's just less than, so we have an open circle here. X is less than, so we put the arrow to the left. Same thing with positive 4. X cannot equal positive 4, so we put an open circle here at positive 4. And X is greater than positive 4, so the arrow goes to the right. And so now we have this little graph that represents our inequality here. We need to write this as an interval notation, or an interval notation. So I guess I can fit it right here. Well, I'll do it here, probably easier. So start with all the way to the left, we have negative infinity. Negative infinity all the way, remember parentheses with infinity, to a negative 4. We cannot equal negative 4, so we put a parenthesis right there. Then we have a union between the two. And then we have a positive 4 that starts. So we have a parenthesis though because it's not equal to. And it goes all the way to positive infinity. And there we have it. We have our answer in interval notation as well as we graphed our solution for this absolute value inequality that's greater than 4. I hope you learned something here on how to solve absolute value inequalities with greater than. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.